here with another video. This time it's going to be my Trader Joe's haul. Um, I have it laid out on the table and then I have it broken down to how I like to use it, prepare it, and why I bought it. So now lately um, when I do my grocery shopping, especially at Trader Joe's, I kind of think of a ahead of time of what I'm going to use that for um, kind of thing. So that's how I like to show my, um, my grocery hauls with you guys. So let's get started. All right, so let's just start off. I just bought a um, salad mix. This is my go-to salad mix uh, from Trader Joe's. I like to buy them, honestly, over at Trader Joe's compared to Costco, because Costco, I used to buy that huge um, plastic bin of um, salad mix. It's $3.99, really great price, but the thing that I don't like is having my, um, my, my salads. Um, the greens go bad so okay so over here i have the nacho cheese tortilla chips this is the one that um hubby and the kids like compared to the doritos the doritos has more of a a sharp cheddar to it this is a very light cheddar so hubby made um chili last night and um we have some leftovers so they like to put this at the bottom and crush them up and then add the chili and then um do the sour cream with that to mix it so reason why i bought that and then over here i have a live basil this is i think hubby said it was like 2.99 the reason i told him to get this he actually brought me over because i told him that um we needed basil because we got a uh, pizza dough for the kids it's just a plain pizza dough and then i got a very um couple of uh, meats that we can add in there usually the kids prefer the gourmet pepperoni and then some pizza sauce so with hubby he likes the um the garlic and herb uh pizza dough we also have uh alfredo sauce at home but i said if he was going to do it with alfredo sauce we have grilled chicken from last night he can add it in there and as a greens he can put uh, basil well he came to me with a you know like a big plastic container of basil for like $3.99. I said, you know what? We only use uh, basil for certain recipes. It goes bad. So I like to have my basil plant into a pot because for $2.99, I repot this and actually it lasts me for a few months. So I love um, potted basils from Trader Joe's. And then over here, I have, oh, you know what? Before I go there, oh, what happened here? I think the thing came out. So before I go there, I do have my favorite go-to salad dressings, and they're at Trader Joe's. Romano Caesar dressing, the girls love this, to pack. So like I said, I have grilled chicken. I get the greens, I get the grilled chicken, I get these veggies grilled, I put them into a, a bento container for the girls to pack for school, and then I put this into a little container. Then um, that's like their go-to lunch meal they're, they're not into sandwiches so i i really have to have this all the time this one i like the cilantro salad dressing and then sesame soy ginger vinaigrette i've had this before i like this as well my salads and then this one is just the artichoke uh, marinated i add that on to um the grilled chicken or grilled pork or grilled steak that i have and then um, mix it into my veggies kind of thing it the the oil in here flavors up the the salad as well as the veggies so for the veggies i love to grill vegetables i love to grill meat and vegetables so i will actually gather this all up and chop it up grill it all at once so i like to grill this into slices i'll wash these and then um actually grill them first and then i'll add on the other vegetables because i like to have my veggies kind of charred um taste to it and then with this one i usually just get like a um just like the italian salad dressing mix that up this one works well too or any of you know any um, salad dressing or this one the the oil from this or just oil olive oil salt and pepper and then um like the lime seasoning that you guys chili lime that you've seen me do from trader joe's i'll grill that up flavor it and then once it's grilled i like to put the extra hot um salsa habanero ghost pepper salsa this is really hot so i kind of separate the ones that i like to prep up for my meal and then i'll add some salsa onto those uh, grilled veggies it just eat, um, adds up um, a little bit of a pop uh, flavor to it and then i like red onions along with that as well chop that up and grill it 
okay? So I got this one. I like this, the lemon pepper um, pasta. With all those grilled veggies, I'll separate them. And then I will also, um, the following day, I'll boil up um, this lemon pepper pasta. I'll add some of that grilled veggies in there to put in here along with the grilled meat. Um, and then there you go, a new separate meal for, um, for the girls to pack for school or for a quick dinner for the family. Tomatoes, I love tomatoes around the home. I also grilled this along that. I only grilled this for about five minutes or so um, because otherwise if you overcook this and then it turns really mushy, but I like the, um, the taste of charred um, uh, tomatoes as well. Okay, so I got for Costco, I like to get the avocados there, but they're so huge and then they all ripen at once. So I like to get the teeny tiny avocados at Trader Joe's. These are $2.99 for six of them. They're a perfect serving, either for breakfast with eggs, um, eggs and bacon. Um, I've been doing the, the, lazy, the lazy keto for just a little while since the new year started. So I really wanna go back into that. And this and is a, why I had a call pop up. But um, with lazy keto, it's so strict of just, you know, like the fats, the butter, the sour cream, and then the meat and the bacon, the eggs. I really can't honestly do that. I can't have so much of that um, fat intake. Um, I just honestly feel sick because I love my veggies. So I kind of mix it up. And then I want to do it my way to where like I'm doing the lazy keto, but yet I want to add in healthy um uh, meals in there for like grilled veggies as well so i want to balance it out that way this is the is it the mineola oranges honestly um it said cara cara in there so i thought i picked up cara cara but this will do as well and it's so funny because this is um it's grown to where we used to live over in california when hubby was stationed in california with the military so that was grown there i just saw that oh my gosh totally weird okay off topic and then um, I got cheese, so I've been eating a lot of cheese and meat as a snack. So with this one, I did not get this over at Trader Joe's, but I wanted to show you guys how I um, I do my snacks. So I love these, um, is it Sargento? Sargento? Sargento cheese slices. I cut them up in four. I get these, and then I have it in a plastic container, and then um, I put into the fridge as my snack. And then it's just basically meat and cheese, meat and cheese. I like to have a variety so then I don't get like tired of it. I'll put, I love the Colby pepper, um, pepper jack and then also the tomato basil jack. So I have that. And then this is usually for the kids um, um, sandwiches like grilled cheese. So they love this, but that was not from Trader Joe's. But I do like the, cheese, um, the meat at Trader Joe's as far as like the deli meat. I like this salami, pepperoni. I like this as well. The kids love it for their um, sandwiches for Jonathan or for their pizza. So I bought two of those. And then I also like this one with uh, my cheese and deli snack. It's the prosciutto for $3.99. You can't beat that. So I wanted to try that. Pizza sauce, butter. Um, this butter, I like to get the butter at Costco. It's $2.99. You can't beat that. Even at the commissary where I usually get my butter, it's now $4, you know, and, and then some. So $2.99 for the salted one. I'm actually going to make um, banana bread for the kids. I have three ripe bananas, and I did not have any butter, so I wanted to pick that up. And then I like Kerrygold butter as far as um, putting um, a nice taste of butter when you put it on toast um, or pancakes for the kids. Now I got this. Wanted to show you guys this one. I've I've been using this one, so this is not fresh today. But I wanted to show you guys how why I bought these two. So mixed nuts. You guys have seen me um, get this before. I love to mix this with my oatmeal in the morning. Mixed nut butter, so it has dry roasted and salted almonds, cashews, walnuts, Brazilian nuts, hazelnuts, and pecans. I was also looking out for my um, flax seed and butter um peanut butter flax seeds i think it was they no longer carry it that's why i was wondering like i have not gotten that from trader joe's in such a long time reason is it hasn't been there so they don't have a date of when it will um, be able to be ordered again so i picked up the cashew butter creamy salted cashew butter i've never tried this i've been wanting to try it 
But um, like I said, my go-to butter um, as far as for my oatmeal was the mixed nut and the flaxseed. So since I'm out of the flaxseed, go ahead and give this a try. You guys know family loves the spickless. We have cookie butter, um, creamy, and then we have the cocoa swirl. And my go-to meals is mac and cheese, and hubby likes this one. I actually just got one of each because... I haven't really been um, doing the mac and cheese lately. So the kids have been, you know, doing a little bit of varieties here and there. They had a sample of the chicken goiza pot stickers and all the lady did was steam them with a paper towel into the microwave. How easy can that be? And it was really actually pretty good. I'm actually just gonna steam it in a regular pot rather than the microwave method. But um, I'm gonna do this with like a soy sauce, um, dressing, uh, making my own soy sauce dressing with a little bit of sugar, vinegar, and soy sauce, and then um, like the sriracha sauce as my dipping sauce for that one. Kung Pao chicken, one of our go-to meals for hubby and I. The kids don't really care much for this. I think it's because of all the veggies. This is so good over just hot, fresh rice. Um, this is $4.99. Hubby and I will have this for lunch and then leftover for any of the kids that would want it. And again, we cannot go to Trader Joe's without picking up our um, orange chicken go-to. This one I bought before, I actually like it. Okay, you guys, is this nachi? Is it nachi? Gargonzola? All right, you guys know I can't, I can't pronounce. But um, Japanese fried rice, another go-to. I like to mix this with a little bit of just regular white rice that's left over from the night before because I think it's too greasy by itself. I just add a little bit of white rice in there. One, it makes it more for the kids. And two, I also add um, grilled, even if it's grilled steak, grilled pork, or grilled chicken. I'll add that in there. Then that's a whole meal in itself for me to pack um, the kids for school because they don't... They like to have. They don't like to buy um, lunches at school. They like to have things packed for them. But then um, sandwiches of meat and cheese is not their go-to. So I like to buy this organic, super sweet corn. Um, when I make enchiladas, or when hubby makes enchiladas, we have this on the side along with the enchiladas, and then the sour cream. Totally um, home delicious meal. I got the tamales. I like to get the pork and red sauce. I got um, some sliced black olives because I do have a recipe where I, um, those very thin spaghetti, um, is it capelli? Is it capelli noodles? The very thin one with, um, I just used the zesty Italian and then the olives and then diced up tomatoes and then cucumbers. You add that all together and um, the, I don't think, I think it's McCormick Salad Supreme um, mix. You put that together along with the grilled chicken or grilled pork, whatever I have on the side, and then it's a whole meal in itself. So when I do my grilling, I like to grill in mass amounts of those. I'm gonna grill all those in one grill, and then I usually grill about three or four packets of meat, um, maybe two chicken, one steak kind of thing, and then I chop them all up so that when the kids, the big kids, I have a 16 and, and, and a 19 year old now, when they're making stuff, they can easily just grab a container um, of those chopped uh, meat that have been grilled, add it onto their meat, add it onto this, add it onto that, and, um, and then this is always just rice. So they, they're able to create meals for the younger ones, um, for the family, and then it's easy prep for them. Okay. All right, so we have been loving tea at night uh, throughout the day, so I wanted to pick up the organic pomegranate white tea. I've had this before. It's really good. Again, our go-to juice over here is the Trader Joe's pineapple juice because it's just straight-up pineapple. Um, you don't usually find that over at the grocery store, so it's very hard for me to find um, fresh pineapple juice, you know, not, not the dull ones in the can that's into the like the aisles, but into the refrigerator aisle of just plain pineapple juice. And then we also picked up orange, peach, and mango. The, my girls love juices in the morning. I'm not a juice person, I'm more of a coffee, um, but they like that. And then I picked, it, um, picked this one up for myself, the Fig and Olive Crisp. Um, I've had this before. It's a crispy, savory, and sweet cracker to complement cheese spreads, dips, and toppings. And the reason I got that one is because I got these shallot and chives and then garlic and fine herbs. Actually, I think I was gonna try that one with that. This one, guys, if you have mashed potatoes, you do your mashed potatoes as regular, like with your butter and milk. Sometimes I even put the sour cream in there or cream cheese. 
but then you add this in there it is so 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 good so try that one and then i also wanted to try that one with the, the crackers i think that's it guys i think this is all the latest trader um, joe's haul that i got for today and thank you guys for stopping by as always um mahalo